But if you were to pick a person off a rack, right, and pick any mental affliction that you could in an attempt to make them immune from criticism, this is what you would pick. Think yeah, about it. Yeah. You'd say, well, hold on a second. She's autistic, so she can't speak well. She's manic depressive. She has anxiety, so she may not be able to perform. And she has selective mutism, so she won't answer your questions. Yeah. Hmm. Also Antifa. <laughs> so <laughs> right. she might throw a bottle at your head. So I want to tie this into why everything wrong with Greta Thunberg, why she is just the, just the worst. I'm not going to say anything that could get me banned. She's just the pits. Uh, <laughs> let's give some context. The 16-year-old, obviously, Greta Thunberg, for those of you who forget, she is continuing to make headlines. Uh, this week, for being the favorite, we don't know right now, at the time of this taping, the Nobel uh, Peace Prize. Oh, gosh. So she's wow. been nominated for her outstanding uh, work. And just, just honestly... <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, the pinnacle of excellence uh, on the climate change uh, <laughs> stuff, you know, all, all that business. And she spoke uh, this week at the ongoing Extinction Rebellion protest, which is the thing, I guess, in London. Here you go. And we will never stop fighting. We will never stop fighting for this planet and for ourselves, our futures, and for the futures of our children and grandchildren. <laughs> 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 That's my dad. <laughs> dad? Your, your, your dad is one of the clowns from Rob Zombie's <laughs> Horror. <laughs> By the way, hit the notification uh, bell. Please do subscribe at Mug Club, ladderofcutter.com slash Mug Club. $69, students, uh, $69 for students, veterans, active military. You get the full oh. Blaze catalog. Now you have Dave Rubin. It's the Ooh, only thing yeah. to keep this available for free on YouTube, and there's like 80% more content there, episodes every single day. You just see a small clip here. And nice. uh, do check in though every day on YouTube because we're not in suggested videos. <laughs> if you search us, we don't even show up. Oh, but if yeah. you check back every day, there's always a new video at, yes. uh, is it nine o'clock Eastern? Nine o'clock Eastern. And then eight o'clock live stream. All right, here's another point about um, Greta Thunberg. I guess I guess it's kind of a, a hybrid of, of the Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Let's go back to why uh, Greta Thunberg is just the pits. <laughs> For one, it's, and this, this isn't her fault, she's a child, Yeah. right? Yeah. We're talking about giving away a prize. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not saying, please let me be clear. I'm not saying that we should never listen to young people, right? like right. David Bowie and such. Like, I get it. <laughs> what? These children that you spit on as they uh. try to change their world. I'm not saying that you should never listen to young people. I think that we can learn a lot from young people. I really yeah. do. But allowing them to dictate policy? Yeah. I mean, and this is my, my biggest problem here is that they use these children uh, as human shields yeah. to be immune to from criticism, yeah, right? Yeah. They did it with David Hogg. And let me tell you this, Republicans do it too. Yeah. I, at CPAC, I remember I had to introduce a Jonathan Crone, um, who was like the conservative. How do we pronounce this there, Wade? Is it, is it Wunderkind? Yes. Wunderkind. Yeah, Wunderkind. that's why I always hear it, yeah. Wunderkind. Yeah, but yeah. We're American. It's like a yeah, right. so, It's just like España. We're like, mm, f you, Spain. No. <laughs> so I'm going to change yeah. that. We are like that. <laughs> that's pretty much what we do. By the way, they do it with us. Bring they your do it with us. We all do it. Else Estados Unidos. Oh, I'm sorry yeah. for the bleep button. Um, but Republicans <laughs> do it too. I introduced Jonathan Cronin. Remember, I got into yeah. trouble because I was talking about it on Red Eye, and I said, you know, I, I think it's. All, I'm always. I'm always uncomfortable with a 12 year old sort of Alex P. Keaton lookalike because I think they're really parroting what their parents are telling yeah. them uh, to say. And there's a very strong likelihood that he will end up being a pot smoking hippie at Berkeley. Yeah. I was right about all of it, except he went to Columbia. <laughs> <laughs> and then there Pretty was uh, there was another uh, I can't remember his name. But there was a, there was a young black conservative who was making the rounds. Wanted to be I think we had him on once, but then he was supporting Ted Cruz, and he was supporting Bernie Sanders, and mm -hmm. then he went back to Trump. Like it, it, there is a lot of wow. I don't want to say grifting, but the thing is like there is an open avenue to push the gimmick of being young. And a could lot you of say, politicians... Could you say their opinions aren't developed yet? Yes, they're not And by the way, you yeah. can have print... You can be a person who, who, who um, already has established your values. Like, my yeah, values yeah. aren't all that different from when I was 14 or 15 or 16. Right. But you shouldn't be given a national platform. Yeah, no. And I don't, certainly don't think that you should be allowed to dictate policy, international policy, right, yeah. when you have yet to make income. But yeah, you're, you're right. They, they really are holding themselves they are immune to criticism. Just watch this leftist lose his mind at the slightest criticism of Greta Thunberg. You're a grown man and you're attacking a child. Shame on you. She's trying I'm to not, do what I'm she thinks is, left thinks is right. And by the way, now right, relax, skinny boy. I got this. Oh, you're freaking you're attacking out, not me. A child. Bring <laughs> <laughs> a skinny boy. God. Insults him. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, okay, just you're, you're just gonna act just because I banged your mom. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh. slow your roll, Jew.
Why are you doing this? <laughs> I mean, I, I, at first I was like, oh, is, that, is he complimenting him? I was yeah. like, oh, no, yeah. it's an insult. Yeah. Okay, no, sorry. Going to the insult. How is that an insult? Context I don't get it. Context yeah. clues. I don't All right, really athletic person it. who could run and defend himself. Just calm down. Skinny what? boy. All right, man who has a 40-yard dash that would be competitive at the combine. Piss off! <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice guy. You're not uh, fit to hold Greta's braid. <laughs> now let's compare that. Let's compare that with uh, the treatment of, if you remember, the Covington children. Swift backlash against the behavior of those Kentucky teens Smiling. who traveled to Washington this past Friday on a school trip to attend the March for Life. The Diocese of Covington Catholic High School, where some of the boys attend, condemning their actions, saying in a statement, this behavior is opposed to the church's teachings of dignity and respect. The matter is being what investigated behavior? and we will take appropriate Smiling. action, up to and including expulsion. Yeah, I mean, the behavior of simply standing there smiling while they're being berated by brack, black he brack, sorry, that's you, uh, black Hebrew Israelites, Israelite, what's happening? That is broke. <laughs> black Hebrew Israelite! Claire! He's turning into him. speaking my language, bro. <laughs> so kind. And it makes it all the way up to the diocese? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. But, Shouldn't you be more concerned that those kids, that, that they weren't had sex with? Oh. That people didn't make sex with them? Like, that would be my concern. Oh. Just saying! Take an altar boy, leave an altar boy. The main difference here <laughs> is, that, uh, is that um, they didn't choose. When you talk about the company, they didn't yeah, choose yeah. to be in the spotlight. They were just right? there. Saying, well, how can you? I, no, I actually think that you can point out a double standard and say that one is defensible. A, they didn't do anything wrong. Not that Greta did anything wrong, necessarily. I right. think her opinions are wrong. Correct. I think her parents have done something wrong. Yes. Um, but... When you compare it, like the, the Covenant kids, it was someone with a phone who took it out of context and then their lives were ruined. Greta decided to thrust herself into the spotlight. And right. so I do believe that there is a certain level of criticism which is valid at that point. You certainly shouldn't be immune from it just because yeah. of your age if you decided that you are going to be the torchbearer. That's just my thought. Right. And I, I think, yes, we should be more forgiving of children. Right. Um, absolutely, they make mistakes. But they don't, they don't, they shouldn't all get a pass. No. Right? They shouldn't, like, if a kid murders somebody, like, we, we, we don't try them as an adult. Well, you know what, though? Like, you still, yeah. Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty. Yeah. Let me clarify. It's, um, this is not, this is everything wrong with the concept. This is everything wrong with the circus that is uh, Thunberg, okay? Not necessarily her. So another, another point, everything wrong about it, she's been, she's, the mental issue, can we not yeah. say mentally yeah, ill? Can. As someone who's think. suffered from mental illness, and I've been Canceled. pretty open about it, um, Thunberg is diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, also obsessive compulsive disorder, disorder, and a new one for me, selective mutism. And I know what you're thinking, selective mutism sounds like bullshit. We'll come back to it. <laughs> yeah. She was also said to suffer uh, from severe depression, eating disorders, and panic attacks. Here's mm. my question. Why, this is not about her. I'm not condemning her for struggling with whatever they, being, what do they call it, a uh, neurodiverse? I don't know. If she's struggling <laughs> with depression, and as someone who has struggled with depression, it's a mental illness. Doesn't yeah. mean that it needs to be debilitating, but I think we should be honest about this, and I don't think we should silence people for bringing it up. I am not at all condemning Greta for struggling with whichever one of these uh, no. afflictions uh, yeah. she may have. But why would anyone in their right mind use her as a political pawn knowing that she responds so poorly to stress? Yeah. This clip is sad. Creates a safe passage to I'm sorry, my brain is not working correctly. Um, yeah. <laughs> And, and look, I hate to hear that oh, cheer. She so goes, tough. I'm sorry, yeah. my brain is not working. And they cheer. Like, listen, I'm sorry, if you're an adult and you say, I'm sorry, my brain is not, my brain is not working, people don't cheer. Yeah. Right? And people are saying, well, give her a break. English is her second language. She's autistic. You know what I say? I say yes, yes. English is her second language. She's autistic, depressive, obsessive compulsive, has anxiety-driven selective mutism. Let's give her a break by not thrusting her into an international spotlight where she will be forced to talk with multiple people and face justifiable criticism on a global yeah. scale. Now, let me, let me posit something here, okay? Um, I do believe, let me be really clear, I do yeah. believe in autism. I think yeah. it's Asperger's. Some people are saying it's not a thing. ADHD, I understand. Depression, yes. I'm not one of those people who thinks it's made up and it's all in your head. Right. Uh, selective mutism, I don't know anything about. Has anyone else here heard about yeah, that before? Never. Yes. Okay, I've never heard anything about it, but uh, 
I will say about all of the others, Asperger's, ADHD, I think we can also agree that a lot of these issues, they're overly diagnosed and kids are overly medicated. Absolutely, I think those right? two yeah. things can be true. Absolutely, yes. So the parents are obviously the ones guiding the ship that leads to these diagnoses. Yeah. The same parents, by the way, who dress her in the Antifa flag, lest you forget. Oh my yep. gosh. <sighs> But if you were to pick a person off a rack, right, and pick any mental affliction that you could in attempt to make them immune from criticism, this is what you would pick. Think yeah, about it. Yeah. You'd say, well, hold on a second. She's autistic, so she can't speak well. She's manic depressive. She has anxiety, so she may not be able to perform. And she has selective mutism, so she won't answer your questions. Yeah. Hmm. Also Antifa. <laughs> so she right. might throw a bottle at your head. So, By the way, point point number yeah, four exactly. uh, that's wrong with Greta Thunberg is, is is the cultism, right? This this cult of personality. Maybe the most bizarre aspect of this is they're they're actually celebrating Greta as some sort of saint. Oh yeah, we've it's said this so for a, a while that the left's new religion it's just secular humanism. It's 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 earth worship. It's Gaia. It's climate change alarmism, right? <laughs> yep. Um, we want to solve the problem, kill all people. That's yeah. what it is. Let's consider the context here. NBC. That's they've now launched a website. <laughs> Where you can confess your climate sins. What? Really? Oh what? my gosh. Hey, 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 multinational billion dollar corporation NBC, you first. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh how many gosh. how many people uh, with uh, how many people had to develop that website when they were drinking from aluminum Red Bull cans and right, having exactly. caffeine farts? <laughs> Those are a thing. I'm just saying. You know, did you need to do the box set of the office? <laughs> Couldn't you just put them in a Manila envelope? Yeah. Well, let's just be real here. If we're talking oh about gosh. sacrifices. You guys can make the most, right? We talk about taxing the rich. Well, how about we talk about the people who waste the most as far as plastic, as far as emissions, space. How about you confess first and change it up? Mm -hmm. Now we have op-eds, they're referring to, to Greta as Joan of Arc. Oh uh, cl climate activists have been portraying her as, as Mary or Christ, and Sarah Silverman, oh, Jeez. both Ooh. Sarah so Silverman weird. and, have you seen, Sarah Silverman was in this, the Church of, yeah, what? Was this Sarah Silverman in blackface or not Sarah Silverman? <laughs> yeah, no, this was not, no, this was just normal Sarah Silverman. Okay, sorry. Oh. I didn't see the clip, so, so I was It was Sarah sure. Silverman in horseface. Oh, okay, it's gotcha. the less okay, funny Sarah normal. Silverman. Yeah. Sarah yeah, Silverman and the Church of Sweden, they've, declared her the successor of Jesus Christ, which is odd considering that Silverman doesn't even believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> nice. All right. This sounds uh, I think it's a final point here. Uh, point number five, we do have to get to the Hodge one soon. Yeah. She, she's a, Greta, this is one her, she, she is a fraud. The idea, what's been built around her <laughs> is fraudulent. She made headlines uh, that she was sailing, right? Instead of flying to the United States to yeah. avoid emissions. Here's something they don't tell you. Her crew, <laughs> not one or two, her whole crew then had to fly back. <laughs> Likely producing more emissions huh. than it would have just taken oh to fly her there in the first place. Congratul wow. You sailed across the Atlantic on your own. Congratulations, you get a peace prize. Oh wait, you just rowed the <laughs> sailboat while the crew yes. operated it and then flew back. Yes. I just, it's it's oh remarkable. Again, all of this is a photo op. All of, it really is a propaganda. Yeah. And, and then after all that, of course, she attended the UN Climate Change Action Summit and she filed a complaint against five countries. Yeah, we should get right on That's that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, not among them, by the way, China. Sorry, Bill. Biggest producer of CO2 emissions. I, I don't know who you got to talk to there, but put it in the suggestion box. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't blame Greta. I really don't. I want to be really clear here, lest we be banned or, yeah. or for the opera. I have no idea. Could, you know what? Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> for, uh, but I, I, I do blame the parents and the people, all people who use children as political pawns. And yeah. if anything, I wish that I could talk to Greta, uh, Greta, to Greta, and and tell her that these people. Just like we said this about David Hogg, and look, where is David Hogg now? Yeah. These people are going to use you up, Greta, yeah. chew you, and spit you out. Yeah. The end result of political wunderkinds, uh, it perfectly mirrors that of child stars. Yeah. Right? The most valuable skill that Greta needs to acquire in life right now, right now, Greta, if, if I could talk to you, is it's not confidence, it's not boldness, it's not bravado, it's discernment. Specifically discernment in who to trust. That's gonna be big for you, sweetheart. I really don't wanna see you go the path of David Hogg or Corey Haim. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f